for her because she does have stubborn coarse or thick lashes so a rod would really just give her the best results possible once i'm done gluing both sides of her lashes to the rods i'm gonna go ahead and add solution number one onto her brows and let that process and we're also going to add solution number one onto her lashes and let that process at the same time. They are two different products and process at different times. And we're going to go ahead and remove solution number one from her lashes and solution number one from her brows as well. I actually added solution number two onto her lashes off camera, but here we're adding solution number two onto her brows. And solution number two is ready to be taken off of her lashes. And we are also now just taking her lashes off of the rods and taking the rods off of her lids. So lash lift only has two steps, solution number one and solution number two. And I'm going to go ahead and brush solution number through, two through the brows and add a stain onto her lashes as I map her brows out. The stain is now ready to be removed so we're going to go ahead and remove that and add a hydrating solution to her lashes and just give them a quick little dry. Now I'm just going to go ahead and continue waxing her brows. I always like to start with the bottom of the brows, that's just preference. And I always like to brush the brows down when I'm waxing the top of the brows during the lamination. It really just helps me get a better view of the shape. Once I'm done waxing, I'm going to quickly just tweeze any little hairs that were left behind. Do some minor trimming. I do like to keep the brows a little bit on the fluffy side. Add some concealer. Just make everything look really pretty and put together. Add solution number three onto her brows to hydrate and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this transformation.